Okay, continuing with our discussion of compound inequalities, here's a couple of more examples for clarification. Again, we have an intersection here of x is less than negative 2 and x is greater than 1. Okay, and I'm going to graph these two statements separately on the black number lines here. x is less than negative 2 starts here on the right-hand side and goes toward negative infinity on the left-hand side. So that represents all the numbers that make that true, negative 2.1 and negative 3 and negative 5 and on forever. And the other side, x is greater than 1, would start at 1 with a parenthesis there and graph that way. Oh, I should have put that on the other number line. It goes down here. Forget you. So those are those two separate graphs. The one on the left is the first one, the one on the right is the second one. Now we're going to put those together. Where is it true that there is a number that is both less than negative 2 and greater than negative 1, than positive 1, rather. Okay? Nowhere. Doesn't happen, right? So, since these both have to be true together, the solution is this graph right here, the empty graph, or in interval notation, it can't be written. We write the null set symbol instead, which looks like this. There are no solutions to that. And that's the set notation, or, or the best thing we can do for interval notation. That'll be a choice on your homework problems, that you'll see that's a possibility. On the other hand, if we're looking at an OR statement that's the same inequalities, but it says one or the other, and we graph this graph on this side. That's the same graph as over there for x is less than negative 2. And this graph on the lower one for the right side. When it can be in one or the other, a number in one or the other of these statements, we can combine them in an, into a compound graph because it only has to agree with one of them. So that includes all the numbers down here, the union of all the numbers down here, and all the numbers up here as a solution set. Okay? So we're going to graph all of those graphs above together in one graph. And that will be the solution to this. How do we write that in interval notation? Well, we can see far to the left here, we go toward negative infinity. That interval stops at negative 2 with a parenthesis. Then for the OR symbol, I mean the, the word OR, we use the union symbol. Looks like a U without a tail. And then we start the other interval at 1, and it goes to positive infinity. Okay, so there's the solution for that compound inequality result.